Hello and welcome to the another Tableau Advanced Dashboard case study. And in this case study, I'm showing you how you can create an executive friendly dashboard. So executive friendly dashboard, when I say what I mean by that is a dashboard that may you may want to create it for your department owner, your COO, CFO or CEO, because they are responsible for certain KPIs or metrics to drive the growth, to drive the performance and all of that. And in this dash, in this case study, I want to give you an idea or a view as to how you can go ahead and produce it. A very simple and straightforward uh, KPI dashboard for your end user. So that's something we will see with the help of the sample superstore data set, which always come with the uh, tab view. So when you go over here in this tab view, you see the sample superstore, right? So you can come click on that and you will see a view like this where you have the orders information, order date, so on and so forth, right? So uh, it based on this, the final output, how it will going to look like if I just show you, um, if I go to uh, windows, uh, where is that? Uh, if I go to the sheet, um, dashboard uh, where should i go yeah here i should go um dashboard okay so this is what the final layout will going to look like for you uh, and this basically will say a title at the top right and the period for which the metrics are shown so this is clearly indicating that this is showing uh, you the metrics for the period of December 26, 2021 to December 30. That means it's a one week worth of dashboard. And then what it is allowing you that you can go and select that. Let's say you want to see by furniture, right? So you select the furniture and you view the information. You want to select office technology. You want to see that and you, you view the information. You want to see it by technology. You see that and you view the information, right? So all of that is basically present as a filter. And then this is at a category level for any product guy. And this is a regional information. If you want to, if you're interested into a specific region, you select central and you will just view the information that how does it look like for one or the other region. So you click apply everyone and entire information is shown. Okay, so a lot is going on in this sheet and we will, I will show you uh, each of the sheet. So first thing first was this range that we need to create. Then each of the KPI, total sales, total profit, total order, total cost, total shipping cost, days to ship, corporate sales, and total sales, right? And then what you have is basically a KPI information that what is your sales look like? Week on week, how much it has increased or decreased? What is your target, right? Which may be coming from your target file. In this case, I have manually specified it. This indicator is whether it is red or green, again, just to give it a little bit more dramatic uh, sort of a feeling that this is red. And down below, it shows the trend of last 12 months, right? Just so that you know what is your current week last week, but what is going on in the last 12 months, indicating that this gray is nothing but your previous year. And this indicate, red indicate basically your current year right and you can see the even this line is also color coded when it is green the line is green right so it it's basically driven off of the week over week but uh, over a period of 12 months how does it look like is it going up is it going down what's going on so in one view your exact is able to get an idea if something is improving may not week on week but overall it is improving or it is stagnant right days to ship we are not changing, maybe a cause of concern or something is declining, right? So that is something which is uh, useful for an exact to see it in five minutes, like week on week, month on month, are we improving, not improving? Is it over a period of time improving or not improving? And you know, just five minutes and they are done with their review and next actions. So a lot is going on, as I said, and let me go to the first sheet. So it has a dark background. So a lot of that is going on here in the uh, white sheet. So what it is having is the latest day, which is I'm identifying uh, based on the formula and the week start something you should be able to create a text like this. 
uh, which is a user friendly text right uh, if if this is uh, helpful second is kpis again you know if i just click over here this is total sales very light because your background is dark so that's why i'm keeping it light over here so what you have is the uh, kpi all the kpi in one single place you can see i have created each one cw is nothing but current week sales week change sales target green red what it is right so a lot is going on over here to create uh, entire one kpi card for this then we have the sales line color which is the divider right uh, then what you need to create is this area again this indicates that uh, i am using as you can see multiple dual access information uh, with the 2021 sales 2020 sales and using the color coding i am indicating whether it is positive or negative uh, and then this is another which is nothing but the basket size same same uh, information is basically continuing uh, and then this is a corporate area sales profit kpi profit line color profit area order kpi so on and so forth so whole idea is if you are able to create one kpi you will just keep on replicating it for the rest of the kpi until you create this eight or any number of kpi that you have like six kpi eight kpi ten kpi doesn't really matter but then you should be able to produce once let's say you create everything you should be able to produce a view like this which is also a quite tricky view because if you see uh, you have these dividers these lines you know which is dividing and then you have these like title this this one sheet this is another sheet this is third sheet right and then divider over here then again it is going on so you have four different section here dividing it and then another four section over here which is also a quite tricky thing which i show it in my training that how you can achieve it with some tricks tips and tricks and you know get the desired output so that is something very quickly i wanted to show you with the help of one kpi how would you do that then once you create total sales total profit total orders total cost uh, shipping cost days to ship corporate sales and days to ship if you see interesting thing over here if days to ship is going down that means it is good thing right so that's why even though it is down but it is green similarly if you see shipping cost over here now the shipping cost over here is uh, negative that means it is better so that means it is green right so that is also what i am uh, showing as to how you can take a complete control over your uh, dashboard and get the best for your user with that uh, thank you so much for watching you have entire information go ahead start spending some good number of hours on this and create an output like this and then uh, i believe you will be able to say that yes you will you can achieve or you can create this executive dashboard and uh, impress your users with that thank you so much i'll meet you in the next video